take him inside today during this bitter cold. Reporting in the newsroom, Lindsay Stone, CBS 4 News. All right, Lindsay, thank you. As you've heard over and over again, it's going to be a cold drive into work this morning. Let's go ahead and get a check of your road conditions right now with CBS 4's Justin Kohler. Justin, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, I don't have to be the first one to tell you that it is bitterly cold out there, but it's even colder on the surface of the road temperatures here. Let's take a look. As uh, Chris was just telling us, it is two degrees out by the airport, but at I-465 near Kentucky Road, the surface of the road there, zero degrees. Now, if you're like me this morning, the first thing you noticed when you got in your car was maybe that your tire lights came on. That's just because the air pressure inside does decrease when it gets this cold. So don't worry, you don't have to go to the gas station and fill up on air right there. You should be okay. Let's take a look here at I-465 at Ditch Road. You can see that traffic volumes are increasing this morning. But again, it's dry out there, so it shouldn't be anything that you have to worry about. But do know it doesn't take much, a lot of or doesn't take much precipitation to get things really slippery, especially when we're dealing with those bitter cold temperatures. Now, if you're trying to fly out of here, get to somewhere warmer. Hey, I don't blame you. And if you are, if that is you this morning, you should be all set to go. Coming up in your next 15 minutes or so, we'll take a look at your gas prices out there. All right, Justin, thank you. 506 right now. Let's get to our news and headlines here. We have to check in on the latest coronavirus numbers. This morning, the Department of Health is reporting about 10,000 new cases statewide. 3,200 Hoosiers now currently in the hospital for COVID. Our infection rate remaining right now at 30%. More than 20,000 Hoosiers have now died from the virus since the start of all this. This month is the fifth deadliest that we've seen in Indiana. Medical experts are staying optimistic. One said the record high daily case counts followed by not record high death counts proves Omicron is less severe than previous strains. It also speaks to the tools we have now that we didn't earlier in the pandemic. There's a lot of little things that add up things that we've learned, innovations that have been created to help with this as well. So I don't think, and I want to be clear, I don't think that death statistic or the reduction in mortality is solely about Omicron. The Regan Street Institute expects the number of deaths per day will increase over the next few weeks. So they say we're about to hit a peak with this latest COVID surge. The Biden administration has officially withdrawn its vaccine mandate proposal for businesses with more than 100 employees. The proposal would have required workers to get the shot or undergo weekly testing and wear face masks. Multiple states, including Indiana, challenged that mandate, claiming it was unconstitutional. The Supreme Court then blocked the mandate from becoming law this month. OSHA won't be enforcing anything, but does recommend businesses to encourage vaccinations among their employees. Well, despite the surge in cases nationwide, people are booking vacations left and right. Local travel agents confirm they've seen a boost in business lately, but some people question whether it's safe to go anywhere, and they wonder if it's financially responsible to book a trip, not knowing what's ahead in the months to come. There are several things you need to know before you go. Number one, make sure you get a travel agent. They've done the dirty work. They know each country, city, and resorts, COVID requirements, all the restrictions. So whether you need to show maybe a negative COVID test or be vaccinated, etc. If you get sick before your trip, they'll be the ones to rearrange your flights for you. Sometimes that's at no cost. And if you test positive for COVID while abroad, we're told the policies vary, but that you'll likely test twice the first day, then again, three to five days later. Most of the resorts that we deal with, uh, you know, that's uh, no charge. Uh, to the client, you know, so they're not really paying anything or if they are, they're paying, you know, a nominal uh, fee. So I definitely advise bring medications if you are going to be there longer so you're prepared and bring your computer and charger so you can work if you need to. Yeah. The most important thing you should do if you do plan to take a vacation this year, get the travel insurance. Be careful, though, of the policy that you choose because some cover COVID-related costs and others don't. That's some good advice there. 508 is your time right down here this morning. The USDA is increasing funding to support school meals, and it's happening at a time when districts are facing supply shortages and high food costs. Just in time, right? CBS Sports Mr. Crash is live in our studio right now showing you the impact all this would have. Melissa, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, Nick. Nationwide, an estimated $750 million will be going to schools. The USDA is increasing school lunch reimbursement rates because schools say they can just not keep up with the rising cost here. The start of the school year, the reimbursement rate was already 15% higher than the standard. Now schools will receive an additional 25 cents per lunch. Taken together, districts will receive 22% more for school lunches than they normally would. 
Now I know it doesn't sound like much when you hear 25 cents, but I spoke with two child nutrition directors and they told me they are relieved. That's hundreds of thousands of dollars coming to Indiana schools who right now are having to change their menus day by day because they cannot find supplies and food. Here's what Wayne Township and Lawrence Township schools had to say. It helps tremendously because a lot of the food items that we purchase, we normally bid those out at a certain price. And of course, those prices have increased and a lot of the items are not available. So we're having to pay more for the products we are getting, um, even going so far as to order paper goods on Amazon because we just cannot get them through our normal vendors. Well, according to the USDA, it's given the state of Indiana more than $267 million to support pandemic operations and supply chain challenges. I've placed that full breakdown of numbers for you over on our website. Meanwhile, both child nutrition directors tell me parents, you don't have to worry. The students, of course, will be fed. They just ask parents to be patient while menus continue to change. Reporting in the studio, I'm Melissa Crash, CBS 4 News. All right, Melissa, thank you. It's definitely something for concern there. Uh, just weeks away now from the 2022 Olympics and members of Congress now speaking out against some of the practices in China. The request they're now making to American sponsors of the games. Plus, with this extreme cold weather this morning, mechanics are reminding you to check their car tire pressure ahead of the advice they're offering on the importance of having the right type of tires for your car. Hey, K Mac. Hey, very cold this morning. We're talking dangerously cold wind chill temperatures that are now at negative 21 in Kokomo, negative 13 in Indianapolis. That wind chill advisory continues on until 11 a.m. I'm timing out when we'll finally dig our way out of this freeze in your full forecast. Don't let someone rip you off. Turn to CBS4 Consumer Investigations so you can fight back. Our team will listen to you. Dig into our resources and uncover the truth about who's cutting corners, who's hiding their past, and who could be walking away with your money. Fight back. Contact CBS4 Consumer Investigations at cbs4indy.com or by calling the number on your screen. Hi, I'm Larry Janeski from Basement Systems of Indiana. We're the all things basement tea company. Did you know that up to 50% of the air you breathe in your home comes through the basement? A wet, damp basement is a real problem that can worsen asthma and allergies, affect indoor air quality, and even damage your valuables. We'll transform your basement into a dry, usable space and improve the air quality of your entire home. Call Basement Systems of Indiana today for all things basement tea. Madonna at AmericanEagle.com is monitoring a website with dozens of integrated systems. So if anything goes wrong, she'll spring into action before you even notice. Nothing gets by Madonna. <laughs> at AmericanEagle.com, we got a guy, Tim, who's so good with emerging technologies that help his clients grow, you'd think he was from the future. <laughs> Are you a hologram from the future, Tim? <laughs> Very realistic. Save big money on new flooring from Menards. Marquee Industries Carpet has an ultra soft touch and feel. Their stylish and luxurious designs make it ideal for living rooms and bedrooms. IBC's sheet vinyl flooring is a great way to enhance the beauty of your home. It's durable, waterproof, and easy to install. Save big money on new carpet and sheet vinyl flooring. During Menards, more bang for your buck sale. Save big money at Menards. More for your money. At Anymore Toyota in Avon, we have the new or used vehicle you really want in stock, and that saves you a ton of money. There's no shortage of new Toyotas here. We have over 250 to choose from. Lease a new Camry or RAV4 for just $129 a month, your choice, with two years of scheduled maintenance included. And this month, we'll pay you what you paid for your current vehicle. Trade, upgrade, and save big. So get more for your money at Anymore Toyota in Avon. Happening now, top officials from Europe are meeting with Ukraine and Russia amid a tense standoff. It's the latest diplomatic effort to ease tensions at the border. But with Russian troops conducting military drills, the U.S. and its NATO allies are preparing for the worst. President Joe Biden had a stark message for Russian President Vladimir Putin. We have no intention of putting American forces or NATO forces in Ukraine. But uh, we, I, as I said, there are going to be serious economic consequences if he moves. 
Just overnight, the U.S. sent a shipment of almost 300 anti-tank missiles and other ammunition to Ukraine. In response, Russia may cut off oil and gas exports. And if that happens, experts fear a worldwide energy shortage. Well, the Winter Olympics are less than two weeks away now, and some Republican lawmakers are putting the pressure on China for its human rights abuses. Florida Senator Rick Scott says he fears for the more than 200 American athletes headed to Beijing. He and Congressman Mike Waltz don't think a diplomatic boycott is necessary. Enough. Now, this comes after the Biden administration said it will not be sending any diplomatic or official representation to Beijing to protest Chinese human rights abuses. We're on the verge of sending our athletes and, and companies to Beijing and flying the American flag, giving the Chinese Communist Party this global propaganda. Lawmakers are also putting pressure on the companies sponsoring the Beijing Olympics. 25 Republicans on the House Energy and Commerce Committee sent letters to Coca-Cola, Airbnb, and Toyota, asking them to publicly recognize that China is committing human rights abuse. Before we get to your weather authority forecast, a reminder this morning to check your tires. Justin mentioned it, but experts say you should check that air pressure once a month at least. Lower temperatures do mean lower tire pressure. Typically, cars will require 30 to 35 pounds of force per square inch but watch because over inflating your tires can make them wear improperly and that too can impact your gas mileage all right let's go ahead and get to those temperatures it's the big story of the morning yeah. Krista you warned us it was coming but these are now hitting dangerous levels right they are so something to take very seriously as we're talking about these cold temperatures this morning that are now at the coldest that we've had so far this year this season we have dropped to two degrees in Indianapolis earlier in the month our lowest temperature was three so we We've beat that now, but our northern counties, we have some snow shower, snow coverage up there from snow in the days past, and that's really helped those temperatures go down even farther. So we're down to negative six, that actual air temperature in Kokomo, negative three in Lafayette, and it's six degrees in Bloomington. But these wind chill temperatures are even a bigger story. We're talking about them down to dangerously cold levels where they're now at negative 21 in Kokomo, negative 13 in Indianapolis, and negative 3 in Bloomington. So certainly a day to make sure that you're prepared with all of those extra winter layers. I limit your time outside and don't forget about your pets too. We have a wind chill advisory for a large portion of central Indiana that continues on until 11 a.m. this morning. So those wind chill temperatures are going to remain below zero. I'd say through sunrise, this is 8.30 a.m., seeing some slight improvements by this time. And then by the lunch hour, some locations, especially our northern counties, will still see those single-digit wind chill temperatures, even though that wind chill advisory will have expired. So not at dangerous levels, but still quite cold, while the rest of us will be talking about wind chill temperatures that at the best today only rise into those mid teens. So cold overall, but it will be a beautifully sunny day. Live Guardian radar is dry, very quiet across the region. We have our winds that are out of the northwest now, but as high pressure slides off to the east today, those winds are going to shift out of the south. So that's going to bring us some improvements as we head into the next couple of days. But for today, we have to deal with that bitter cold air with those temperatures that only rise into the low 20s this afternoon. So we're talking about actual air temperatures running about 15 degrees below average for this time of year. But because of that wind shift as that high pressure moves on, temperatures won't drop as quickly tonight. So where we already saw sub zero wind chill temperatures by late yesterday evening, this evening, I'd say by 10 o'clock, sure, there's still cold, but we're still talking about single digit wind chill temperatures, not sub zero. We could see a few sub zeros by early tomorrow morning, but temperatures will have only dropped down into those low and mid teens, and then we will see cloudier conditions tomorrow, not as cold, and that chance for a few passing snow showers. So we could see a few spotty showers, snow showers in the morning. It's really going to be hit and miss who gets it. And then those chances continue on as we head into the afternoon. But you can see it just kind of fades in and out here on our CBS 4 future view. And those chances continue into the evening. So this is 9 o'clock. I think that's the best chance we have to see some snow showers around. But even then, they'll be far 
and few between, not looking to create significant impacts, well, at least widespread across central Indiana, but certainly could cause some slick spots on the roads. Temperatures by Friday will be falling. We'll see those highs in the mid 20s in the morning. They'll slowly fall as we head into the afternoon, back down to seven degrees as we get into early Saturday morning. Saturday, a high of 22 to start off your weekend, but the second half of the weekend, we're into the mid 30s. We keep those temperatures climbing by Monday. We're into those low 40s. We're still dry. We are talking about 50s coming back to the forecast. That's on the seven day after the coldest of the season. That comes on Tuesday with some rain. Justin. Hey, came back. I listened to you yesterday. I knew it was going to be cold this morning, so I used my remote start guard, got the car started early. By the time I got in there, it was nice and warm. Had the heated steering wheel on, heated seat. You're going to want to do the same thing if you have those options when you head out the door this morning, because while it is dry, Traffic conditions are uh, improving out there this morning. It is still really cold, so you can see these volumes now picking up a little bit. Here we're having a look at I-465 at US-52 at Brookville Road. So nothing really to worry about right now if you're heading out the door. Other than the cold, if you're going to Greenwood, you got about 69 miles an hour. Things are moving smoothly out there, and you might want to head out there yourself because gas prices out in Greenwood right now at Speedway, 294 to fill up there. All right, like love, love those gas prices, what? right? They're kind of all over the place at they this are. point. They are. Well, the pandemic could be impacting your child more than you think. Now, how about this? This morning, health experts are discussing the mental health challenges they're seeing most of all. You know, we're, we're seeing things right now that uh, that we've uh, rarely seen before. The most common disorder children are being diagnosed with coming up. The FDA hopes new guidelines will help lower your salt intake. The sneaky foods that contain high amounts of sodium and the ones that could be sabotaging your health. What's so great about being a Kroger Boost member? Free delivery on the Kroger products you love and more rewards like double fuel points. Boost by Kroger Plus, a new level of membership starting as low as $59 a year. Learn more at Kroger.com. I first think about a lady who came in and I could tell that she had all of this emotion because of the pain that she felt. We fit her for the supports and she did her first walkthrough and to see her face go from being so downcast to being uplifted. She was walking like she was proud and she was happy and for me, oh, it was nice. <laughs> so. See how we can help you with the free fitting and test walk at the Good Feet store. My asthma felt anything but normal. It was time for a new normal with Nucala. Nucala reduces asthma attacks. It's a once monthly add on treatment for severe eosinophilic asthma, not for sudden breathing problems. Allergic reactions can occur. Get help right away for swelling of face, mouth, tongue, or trouble breathing. Infections that can cause shingles have occurred. Don't stop steroids unless told by your doctor. Tell your doctor if you have a parasitic infection. May cause headache, injection site reactions, back pain, and fatigue. Ask your asthma specialist about a new normal with Nucala. The Tom Wood Group cares about the Indianapolis community. Through our support, of the American Cancer Society, To Make a Wish, Riley Hospital, the Humane Society, and more. Tom Wood is in it with you in family, service, and community. And now, most admired alum. Get up there. This is so embarrassing. There's no way it's me. <laughs> you know her. You love her. Ruh -ruh. What are you doing here? It's Anna Gomez. Who? Our first gadillionaire with AT&T Fiber, Anna's got the fastest internet with hyper gig speed. I didn't know you went to the school. I have a lot in common. Live like a gagillionaire with AT&T Fiber. Now with speeds up to five gigs, limited availability. Safe auto. Some things aren't worth putting off, like your car insurance. Good thing we're here to remind you. Start the year off right at Hubler. With new inventory arriving daily, you can shop the best selection of new and certified pre-owned vehicles. Visit drivehubler.com. At Kroger, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales for prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh. Kroger, fresh for everyone. 24 is your time right now and for your health this morning. The FDA just issued some new guidelines encouraging food manufacturers, restaurants and food service companies 
to scale back on their use of sodium. The new guidelines want to lower people's salt intake to 2300 milligrams in the next 10 years. The agency claims cutting sodium intake by 40% over the next decade could save 500,000 lives. Experts say there are some sneaky foods that contain quite a bit of salt, including bread. One slice has 150 milligrams of sodium. Some cereals have as much as 300 milligrams per serving. It's pink Himalayan salt, whether it is sea salt, whether it is just regular coarse table salt or whatever, it's all salt. And all of those are going to have a, a good deal of sodium within the salt. The CDC reports more than 70% of the sodium Americans consume each day comes from processed foods and restaurant foods. Excess sodium increases your blood pressure and can lead to your risk of stroke, heart failure, stomach cancer, and kidney disease. Well, this morning, psychologists are weighing in about the mental health issues they're seeing among children. Dr. Daniel Marolo, a child psychologist at the Children's Hospital in Alabama, said he's seen an increase in certain diagnoses, including depression, anxiety, and eating disorders. He's also really concerned about the number of kids who admit substance abuse. A huge increase in uh, uh, mental health disorders in children of all ages, you know, certainly younger children as well as teenagers. We see it in the data, obviously. Uh, we're also seeing it clinically. The American Academy of Pediatrics estimates more than 140,000 children have lost at least one parent to the virus. Right now, there's a push to add stop arm cams to more school buses in Bartholomew County. Why officials believe these tools are needed now and how much it'll cost and where the money will come from. Plus, this morning, IMPD was releasing officers' body cam video involving a shooting where two officers were stabbed ahead. More of the dramatic video and the latest details in that case. Okay, Matt? And we're talking dangerously cold wind chill temperatures this morning, the coldest of the season so far, and that wind chill advisory continues on until 11 a.m. We're talking about the particularly troublesome spots and when we'll see those temperatures get above freezing in my forecast. Visit your Indianapolis Acura dealer for attractive offers on the MDX. Coca-Cola Consolidated makes, sells, and distributes over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors locally. Over 1,000 of our teammates pour their hearts into their work at 12 facilities every single day. We're honored to partner with amazing schools and exciting teams. Our Hoosier heritage runs deep through the birthplace of our contour bottle to downtowns throughout the heartland. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. Ready to save big on some new furniture? Then you need to come see us at God Be Home Furnishings during our home sale. Every day our prices are up to 30% off retail. Now save 40, 50, even 60% off retail. Plus with thousands of items in stock, we're sure to have what you're looking for. Sofas and sectionals, bedrooms, dining rooms, and mattresses. And introducing Smith Brothers sofas and sectionals. Swiss Amish craftsmanship made right here in Bern, Indiana. The God Be Home Furnishings home sale. Get it at God Be today. It's live on stage and coming your way, South Pacific. There is nothing like a day, nothing in the world. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. USA Today raves. South Pacific doesn't just float, it soars. Some enchanted evening. Enchanted indeed. South Pacific. February 22nd. Tickets on sale now. Go to butlerartscenter.org. At Metro by T-Mobile, we're giving you more so you can rule the new year with the big 5G upgrade. More choices with the largest selection of free 5G phones like the Samsung Galaxy 5G. Plus, enjoy 5G access on every plan at no extra cost. All with the power of the T-Mobile 5G network. So whether you're discovering new ways to play or finding new ways to reconnect, Metro has what you need with more 5G and more free phones. Only at Metro. 
Live from CBS4, this is your News Now. Well, this morning we're seeing extremely low temperatures. Officials are warning that you need to take caution during this severe cold weather. Uh, any more than 30 minutes outside at these temperatures, you're going to start having issues. If we have team coverage this morning on what you can expect throughout the day. And the city is putting its foot down and threatening to take an Indianapolis apartment complex to court. The impact this could have for people living at the Lakeside Point at Nora Apartments and for renters statewide. But first, guess what is your weather authority? Those extreme cold temperatures we've been telling you about finally here this morning. Yeah, as we said, we do have team coverage this morning. How long you can expect to see these weather conditions, plus how you can keep yourself and your family safe. And for that, we're going to start off our team coverage this morning with Krista McEnany. Those temperatures, the wind chill, really a huge factor. Right, so very important information this morning. We want to make sure that you're well informed. We're talking about the season's coldest air of the season so far. We're at two degrees is what we fall into now at the Indianapolis Airport. We're at three here at CBS4 Studio on the northwest side. But take a look at these actual air temperatures in our far northern county. So even colder because we we do have some snowpack that is on the grounds. We're at negative six in Kokomo, negative seven in Marion, negative five for that air temperature in Monticello. To our southern county, still quite cold, although we are above zero. We're at six degrees with those temperatures in Bloomington, five and Spencer, and seven in Shelbyville. So our wind chill temperatures, though, that's where we're talking about things being at dangerous levels. So wind chill temperatures have come as low as negative 21 degrees in Kokomo. That's what it feels like out the door. It feels like negative 13 out the door in Indianapolis. Not as bad, but still very cold, feeling like negative three in Bloomington. So that wind chill advisory continues on until 11 a.m., although we are very quiet. So that's the story. It's going to be the temperature. We aren't talking about any major weather system moving in other than this Arctic air. So that wind chill advisory does cover a very large portion of central Indiana, and we still have several hours left to go on this. Even once that windchill advisory expires, we're still talking about temperatures cold. So kids coming home from the bus stop this afternoon, temperatures only into those lower 20s, but plenty of sunshine. We have a good warm up on the way, but before we get to 50s, we're still talking some snow chances in the forecast of those details in a few minutes. Angela. All right, Krista, thank you. Our team coverage continues now with CBS4's Eric Pointer. Eric spoke with the director of emergency management for Marion County. Eric, what did he have to say about this cold conditions? So he says that it's important to be weather aware and dress appropriately. So just like Krista has been saying, you're going to want to bundle up and wear layers. The emergency manager says that being out in the cold and not dressed properly for about more than 30 minutes can have some pretty serious consequences like frostbite or even hypothermia if you're out there for too long. He says to pay attention to things like numb skin or stinging sensations. And even if you don't have to go out into the weather, he says also it's important to keep your home warm, but to be responsible and not create a fire hazard. So we don't want people to use you know, gas grills inside. We don't use, want people to use charcoal inside, open flame that's not within a fireplace uh, or a wood burning stove. You know, use means that are that are appropriate for using inside and keep yourself warm. He says if you lose power or your furnace goes out to contact your service provider immediately to let them know so they can work on resolving the issue. The rec director also mentioned resources like the Red Cross and Salvation Army for things like coats and blankets, as well as local homeless shelters if you don't have somewhere warm to stay. Nick. All right, Eric, some good stuff there. Uh, you might want to leave yourself some plenty of time to warm up your car this morning. Let's get a look at traffic with CBS 4 Justin Kolar. Justin, good morning. Hey, good morning, Nick. Yeah, definitely give yourself a little extra time as you're heading out the door this morning. If you're like me, you're going to want to have a heated tush and heated hands on that steering wheel. So give your car a little time to get warmed up here. Now, KMAX has been telling us all morning how cold it is, but it's even colder out on the roads. So definitely be careful as you're going on those uh, overpasses and bridge areas here. Road temps are likely near zero. It's like that outside too. 
Now take a look here. It's really feast or famine out on the roads right now. You can see I-465 near Ditch Road. Traffic volumes increasing. Still no crashes or anything for drivers to be super concerned about this morning. But here's the famine out here at I-65 near 30th Street. Not many cars out there at all right now. So that lends to pretty good drive times if you're heading out the door this morning, just depending on where you're going. We're going to have another look here in about 15 minutes or so, guys. All right, Justin, thank you. 534 is your time right now. Let's get to our news and headlines here. We have some new information about that deadly fire that happened in Pike Township. Investigators now confirm they found two bodies inside of a camper trailer. The fire happened in a vacant parking lot near Lafayette Road. Firefighters put out the flames and then found those victims. They don't yet know a cause of death, but do not suspect foul play. IMPD just released dramatic body camera footage from the night several officers were stabbed. Police said the suspect, Deonta Williams, Williams called 911 to lure those officers to Fairfield Avenue in December. Two officers spoke with Williams and they started to walk away. According to the video, though, that's when Williams stabbed both of the officers from behind. The wounded officers then shot Williams. They eventually recovered. This morning, Williams is in jail facing two counts of attempted murder. Court records show Williams was on GPS monitoring, awaiting trial for a previous burglary charge. My fear is we have people who shrug it off because the officer survived. One took a knife through the neck. One took one in his chest above his heart. By the grace of God, they survived. You know, there are still some questions that remain. Who made, who made those decisions that led to this person being out? IMPD did not want to comment on the video because they say the use of force board is now reviewing it. An Indianapolis family is fighting for answers after their loved one was murdered. Darrell Brown was shot and killed at an apartment complex on Redskin Place last year. He left behind a one-year-old daughter. This week, his family held a balloon release to remember him. I don't think they realize when they get anger and pull the trigger, you don't know the doubt, the ripple effect that it has through the family. Each person that has died one way or another has a, has a family. They have friends, they have people who love them, care for them, and they wanna know why, why this happened. Brown's family is asking anyone with information to call police so they can get justice. You can call Crime Stompers at 262 TIPS. A reminder, you can always remain anonymous. Happening now, Bartholomew County wants to add stop arm cameras to every single school bus in order to make the ride to and from school safer. Right now, 12 of their 120 school buses have these cameras. They're below the stop arms on the side of the bus and aim low enough to record a license plate. So if a driver goes around a stop arm, the bus driver can then mark the video. A report is then filed, sent to law enforcement, and that person is issued a citation. Since August, the 12 cameras have helped catch six violations. I really hope that people feel um, the urgency in this and that they need to pay attention to what's going on around them when they're operating a vehicle, especially whenever stop arms are out. The cameras would cost $300,000. That would come from the operations budget. If it moves forward, the plan is to have the cameras installed by August 1st. School bus safety is something hitting very close to home for Bartholomew County. Just five months ago, a 16-year-old student was hit and killed while trying to board her school bus. The owners of the Lakeside Point at Nora Apartments have less than a week now to clean up their act or they'll be going to court. Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hawkshead confirms the city intends to sue the owners for unhealthy and dangerous living conditions. Since 2017, the ownership at Lakeside Point at Nora has racked up more than 600 housing code violations. City officials said the owners have ignored complaints and court filings alleging trash, fire, plumbing and heating violations. Now, the city is seeking a court order to fix those problems immediately. It will now cost the owners money to ignore any further complaints. I once heard uh, Don Henley in a song say you can steal more money with a briefcase than you can with a gun, and that's exactly what these slumlords are doing. They're stealing money out of people's pockets. There must be consequences for the significant financial cost to Indianapolis taxpayers City officials hope the filing sends a message to state lawmakers as well, so they tighten the law and protect renters from bad landlords. All right, 538, pencils down. One of the most widely used college entrance exams is now going digital. Ooh, and that's not the only change you'll see in the SATs. What high school students working towards college need to know. General Motors plans to invest more than $6 billion at two of its electric vehicle plants. We'll show you where those are going to be located and how many jobs will be available.
forecast for today. Use a lot of extra caution. This morning we had that wind chill advisory that continues on until 11 a.m. Actual air temperatures right around zero this morning, some below it as we get into the afternoon. Temperatures improve, but still a very cold day, so maybe a shorter walk as you're heading out. And in our featured adoptable pet for today, meet Ziggy. He's a sweet, gentle guy. He's about seven years old and he is housebroken. He loves to play with toys. He does well with other dogs. And from the pictures I've seen of this guy, he is quite the snuggle buddy. So if you're interested in him, contact Indianapolis Animal Care Services. The Traffic Authority, powered by Tom Wood Automotive. All right, class, time for a pop quiz. Where can Hoosiers find all the laughs? Dot, 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 the dot. Now, where can they find all the fun? On the dot, 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 dot. Very good. Last question, where can they find all of their friends? Dot, 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 dot. Bravo, you passed. Unwind with your favorite TV shows all day, every day, on the dot. Bob's won't rest until everyone gets the furniture they love, in stock and fast. But, but we're only two Bob's. Are we, though? It's time to assemble the Bob's. <gasps> it's the call of the Bob's. Well, that's a happy little sound. Bob? Vanilla ice love. Bob's. Wow. This is some seashell. Shop what's in stock, in store, or at mybobs.com. The Weather Camera Network is brought to you by Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. More for your money. At Andy Marquette and Avon, we have the new vehicle you want in stock, and that saves you a bunch of money. There's no shortage of new Kias here. We have over 160 to choose from. Lease a new Sportage for just $2.59 a month, or get 0.9% financing for up to 60 months on our most popular models. Plus, we'll pay you what you paid for your current vehicle. Trade and upgrade today. So get more for your money at Andy Marquette and Avon. Are your bricks cracked and your floors sloped? Do your doors and windows stick? Do you have foundation cracks? These small problems will only get worse over time. Don't let a foundation problem ruin the value of your biggest investment. Call Basement Systems of Indiana for all things basementy. Are you in excruciating pain brought on by your son, daughter, or spouse suffering from addiction? The sleepless nights, the constant worry, and the feelings of isolation. I want you to know you are not alone. Addiction destroys families, but if you call Recovery Centers of America today, your loved one can begin to recover, and so can your whole family. At Recovery Centers of America, your loved one will be treated with care by expert addiction professionals in our beautiful facility and will have access to specialized programs. Family sessions and programming will give you support and healing so that you can recover as well. Recovery Centers of America accepts insurance, provides transportation, and offers intervention services at no cost. Patients are admitted 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call us today. Don't wait. Call 1-800-635-9209 today. You can't turn the channel just yet. Angela has some great information coming up in this next segment. How do you know that? I just do. Keep watching CBS4 this morning. 542 is your time right now. General Motors is making the largest investment in company history. The company plans to spend nearly $7 billion on electric vehicle manufacturing in Michigan. It will convert a factory to make electric pickup trucks and to build a new battery cell plant. GM said they'll be able to create 4,000 jobs and keep another 1,000 people employed. That includes thousands of employees right here in Michigan who will help us make our home state the epicenter of the electric vehicle industry. And we are thrilled, thrilled about this announcement today. GM projects it will overtake Tesla as the top U.S.-based electric car maker. Tesla turned out more than 936,000 electric vehicles last year. GM sold fewer than 25,000 electric cars. Hey, if you invest in the stock market, a new study shows you may want to ignore the so-called experts. Researchers in Italy found stocks that are least favored by market experts have yielded a 15% yearly return on average, more than recommended stocks have. They had a 3% return per year for those recommended. Okay.
Okay, the U.S. supply of computer chips is down to now in an alarmingly low level. Factories are considering whether they need to shut down. The Commerce Department said most of the 150 companies that use semiconductors are down to less than five days of inventory. For perspective, three years ago, they had a 40-day supply. Doesn't help that demand is up 17% since 2019. Computer chips for vehicles and medical devices are especially scarce. Well, the SAT will be completely digital by 2024. The exam will also shrink from three hours down to two, include shorter reading passages, and this is the big one. It'll allow students to use a calculator on the math section. Where was that? Students will have to take the test at a center or school still, but they will have the option to use their own device like a tablet or laptop. It sounds like those in charge wanted to make the test less stressful for students. It comes, though, as a lot of colleges drop the SAT requirements. The number of SAT test takers declined from 2.2 million in 2020 down to 1.5 million last year. Did you guys take the SATs? I did. Yeah, but there was something really satisfying about about filling in those bubbles. Uh, yeah. But I will say I probably spent a little too much time focused on per perfectly doing it. Yeah. So. Cuz you had to get it like you dark right for the, the See, yeah. I never took the SAT <laughs> and in Illinois we did the ACT and that was really the only one uh, that that we took. But I remember the whole the calculator thing is funny to me because I remember back in the day when teachers were just telling us in math like we need to learn how to do it on paper. You don't have to be walking around with the calculator yeah. all day. <laughs> what do you say about these now? I love that. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, listen, hey, Times like are it. a changing. Times are a changing. That's right. Hey, uh, the weather's changed a little bit uh, as well, too. For the worse, we're getting even colder here this morning, Kate. Right. So things are not comfortable at the door. In fact, we're talking about dangerously cold wind chill temperatures, too. So it's the coldest air of the season so far. This is going to be the coldest day of the week, and then we will start to slowly improve through the rest of it. But temperatures now, we dropped to two degrees in Indianapolis. Actual air temperature in our northern counties below zero. We're at negative six in Kokomo. Zero is where we are in Muncie. We're at five in Shelbyville. But these wind chill temperatures really the focus to where we are below zero in some locations such as Kokomo. We're at negative 21 with what it feels like out the door. It's negative 12 with that wind chill in Muncie and negative 13 is what it feels like in Indianapolis. So frostbite can set in as little as 30 minutes in these conditions. Make sure to prepare yourself. Have all of the layers. Keep all of your skin covered up. Think about those kids going to the bus stop and your pets. We do have that wind chill advisory that covers a very large portion of central Indiana that continues on until 11 a.m. this morning. But even after it expires, it's still going to be a cold day. So here are those wind chill temperatures taking us just past sunrise. This is 8 to 30 a.m. Still in the negative. But as we get towards the lunch hour, that wind chill advisory is expired. This is noon. We could still see some negative wind chill temperatures in our far northern counties, but most of us will come out of it. We'll be in those single digits and starting to get into those lower teens. But at best, we're talking about feels like temperatures this afternoon. Mid teens, our far southern counties maybe get close to the actual air temperature as those winds take a little bit of a break and start to shift. Live Guardian radar, though, is very quiet, so the focus for today is just the cold. We're going to have a lot of sunshine around, so on top of those layers, take the sunglasses, too. It's going to be likely what is the sunniest day of the year so far. At this time, those winds out of the northwest, we have this high pressure system that's just centered over Iowa right now, and that's going to slide east today, and as it pulls east of us, as we head into the afternoon and evening, we're going to start seeing those winds shifting and by tomorrow they're shifting out of the south. So that's going to be some improvements over today where actual air temperatures this afternoon only make it to the low 20s, but it's going to keep those feels like temperatures tonight from dropping as quickly. So by 10 o'clock down to feeling about seven degrees and then overnight we could have some areas that drop down below zero, but they won't be as far. Late yesterday evening we'd already started to see some of those sub zero wind chill temperatures. Tomorrow, off to a cold but not as cold start. Actual air temperatures uh, right around 10, 11 degrees, and then we'll see those temperatures rising into those lower 30s. We'll have spotty snow showers around. It's not a lot. We could see a few isolated snow showers around during that morning commute, but otherwise things will be pretty quiet, just cloudier throughout the day. We'll keep those chances for some isolated snow showers as we head into the afternoon and evening too. I'd say 
it's really the evening that we have a better chance to get a couple of those uh, snow showers moving through the area and impacting more of us. They'll be far and few between then colder on Friday. Temperatures dropping again down to seven degrees by early Saturday morning and up to 22 by Saturday afternoon. As we get into the weekend, 34 degrees on Sunday. We're into the 40s on Monday then we're into the 50s as we get towards Tuesday. Justin. Wow, 50 degrees. That is going to feel like 100 out there. It is very cold this morning, and those, condi those conditions are going to have an impact on your car, too. There is a crash. We're going to get to that in the next 15 minutes. That must have just popped up here. But take a look here. Not only we've been talking about how the cold temps are going to affect the air pressure in your car, but if you have an electric car, you're going to have less energy for acceleration, less range. So know that if you're heading out for your commute this morning in an electric car, diesel engine vehicles harder to start this morning and your engine won't run as efficiently. So keep both of those things in mind as you're heading out the door this morning. But by and large, things are moving really smoothly out there, even a little bit above the speed limit. If you're commuting from the southwest side here, 68 miles an hour. Let's take a look at some road conditions here. I-465 near uh, 37 here. You can see conditions not wet, things are dry, cars are moving at those posted speed limits. And if you're going to the airport this morning, you should have no trouble getting where you need to go. We'll have another look at the top of the hour here. All right, Justin, thank you. Five for these your time right now. Hey, it's back to the future. But in real life, a flying car just got the green light. The Slovak Transport Authority just issued a dual mode car aircraft and airworthiness certificate. That means it meets European aviation safety standards. The flying car competed more than 70 hours of test flights and 200 landings and several steep 45 degree turns. The company said they created the vehicle because the owners were sick of traffic. Me too. All right, yeah. I don't know about this, I think though. We'd all agree. Yeah, I, I don't know about it. <laughs> I'm always skeptical of like new inventions. Uh, yeah. Anything uh, yeah. like autonomous cars, flying cars. Yeah, I'll wait a little while until it's, you know, they come out with like the, the next version of it that, right. that works out all the bugs. Yeah, yeah flying absolutely. car 13. Yeah. yeah. All right, Coca Cola spicing things up here again. The company is soon going to launch Simply Spiked Lemonade. It's an alcoholic drink inspired by the Simply brand's fruit juice. Flavors will include strawberry lemonade, watermelon lemonade, blue blueberry lemonade and regular lemonade. It will be sold in a 12 pack of slim cans. Each have 5% alcohol by volume. I'm assuming this is to keep up with the, the trend, right? You got the white yeah. claw, you got the high noon. I like that, but I think they're missing an opportunity here for a good Arnold Palmer. You know, I think that'll be a you know, little I'm Arnie sure Palmy. that's next. I'm sure that's next. Arnie Maybe uh, Nick gives them a call yeah, and yeah, Nick gets too. rich. Poncho the Parrot, an Indianapolis Zoo bird, wants everyone to know that his singing skills are top notch. <laughs> Again, I think you guys maybe partner up. Yeah. He plays the cello, he sings. The zoo shared video of Poncho saying hello and then obviously singing a couple of musical scales. Listen, he sounds better than I do on Sundays when I'm at the Burnside <laughs> Inn doing karaoke. That's uh, it's a lot better, actually. He'd probably be a big hit. Yeah, he I'm already not. is, yeah. yeah. Almost 6 o'clock now, almost the end of a season for some college teams. Yeah, this morning, several are trying to finish strong. How Butler is preparing for its next matchup. That's coming up. And right now, grocery store prices Prices are leaving a sour taste in many people's mouths, but now the cost of orange juice is increasing too. The reason for the squeeze on your wallet that's right here on CBS4 this morning. With Panera's You Pick 2, every meal is made fantastic. You can be fresh and fun, bold and classic, cozy and precocious. With 465 fresh, clean, craveable pairings, find a You Pick 2 for any mood. Panera, the familiar made fantastic. You and me, partner, we meet center of town I noon. Hold on. Nope. Daisy's got last one lessons at noon. OK, I 2 o'clock. I got a spur fitting at 2 o'clock. How's about 3? I'm getting thrown through a saloon window at 3. We don't need any more overscheduling, but we could all use more ways to save. I can squeeze you in between swim class and Kevin's harp recital at 3.30. Always eating beans at 3.30. Right. Switch to Geico for more ways to save. I'll tell you what, what about Tuesday? The car you want, the way you want. The way I want means trusting that I'm getting the best car for my needs. And it means getting a reliable car that I can afford. Find the car you want, the way you want at TomWood.com. If you're struggling with alcohol or drugs, Recovery Centers of America can help. 
At RCA, you'll be treated with compassion and dignity by our expert team of professionals while benefiting from specialized programs, 24-hour medical care, and outstanding facilities. RCA is in network with private insurance plans and we will answer your call 24-7 and get you into inpatient or outpatient treatment as soon as today. Start your new year, start your new life today. Call now. Oh, there's no charge today. Great. Big breath in. I don't know if you all had the same experience of wigs and oh, pet yeah, star. Whenever you shop Meyer, you help support a wide variety of programs that keep our communities healthy and thriving. Thank you. Five fifty four is your time right now. Time for sports. College basketball playoffs right around the corner, and some teams still have a lot to prove. CBS Sports Lexa Ross shows you how several teams are working to turn things around. Good morning. With just over one month left in the college basketball season, stakes are high for teams trying to make a name for themselves ahead of the tournament. Indiana is one of those teams who has shown flashes of greatness and could make a Cinderella run come March. They're just over 500 in conference play, 14 and 5 on the season overall. IU is back at it tonight, hosting Penn State in late tip-off. After a big and exciting win over Purdue, the Hoosiers couldn't keep that momentum going against Michigan on Sunday. Their loss to the Wolverines was their first at home, so Mike Woodson's squad is looking to turn things around. Penn State upset Indiana earlier this season, so the Hoosiers are ready to get their revenge and then some. We're trying to break a door down, and we made a dent in that door in the Purdue game, and we can't uh, get too up or too down on ourselves. So. Uh, I think that's the message we've been talking about, uh, really just focusing and getting the next one. We can't drop two in a row. As we're trying to break this door down, we're putting dents in it, but we really need to find a way to really break through that door and uh, string a couple together. Butler is back at Hinkle tonight after four straight losses to top 25 opponents. The Bulldogs are 0-8 against ranked team this season. Creighton comes to town and a win over the Blue Jays would be their second conference win at home. Butler has played the fourth toughest schedule in college hoops, but they're not making any excuses for their recent performance. They're frustrated as should be. You're frustrated when you lose. Everybody is. Um, but, you know, you can't let that stop you from, you know, going forward and, and pressing on and doing what I think they know the things that we need to clean up. Definitely these games have just uh, allowed us to grow and just find out a lot about ourselves. Um, obviously the outcomes have not been great, but we've, we've taken something from each game and grown with it. And uh, each, each game I feel like we just played a little better every time despite the, the losses. That's it for Morning Sports. I'm Alexa Ross. Major League Baseball and the Players Union are making progress in negotiations. They just met for their second time in New York. There are several big issue items on the table, including revenue sharing and the competitive balance tax. Officials are hoping to strike a deal by February 1st so that spring training camps can open on time. Yes, please. A North Carolina store just got a big shipment in. The Michaels Craft Store is now fully stocked with Christmas decor. Yeah, that's right. A lot of stores will likely experience the same thing. Ports nationwide are clearing out, meaning some seasonal items are just now starting to reach retailers. Key time for all these shipments out of China is usually in August. They've got to get those containers in there and unloaded to get to the stores in order for them to have their holiday and fall season. Once these goods get unloaded, you've missed the season. <laughs> you've missed the shopping season. Some toy stores and furniture outlets receive their holiday orders this week as well. It sounds like a lot of locations are putting the items on clearance, which is where you'll find me. I will absolutely listen, still yeah. shop that. Absolutely. Well, I mean, listen, if Christmas is after your thing, especially decorate, like, come on. Yeah, you get some stuff for next year. Mm -hmm. Not to worry about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. Get some lights on sale. What else? I'm Free sure we can. Love that. Well, Krista still has her tree up. She sells so. it. Re it. Just redecorate it. Let's just roll it into next year. <laughs> roll it into next year. Why Christmas. take it down now? Right. It's, you know, might as well keep oh. it. Let's go to our CBS4 consumer investigation. Now, thousands of Americans are trying to decide whether it's safe to travel. Yeah, and also, if it's worth the money to do it, we talked to several experts statewide what they say you need to know before you book. Plus, IMPD released dramatic body camera video showing the moments before and after two officers were stabbed. <laughs> They're calling it an ambush-style attack. We'll show you the new footage detail by detail. 
And we're talking the coldest day of the week, the coldest day of the season so far, and dangerously cold wind chill temperatures. We have a wind chill advisory that continues on until 11 a.m. with some wind chills that are now near negative 20. But we're talking about a warm-up getting underway. 50s come to the forecast. All those details to coming up at 6. Closed captioning is sponsored by Terry Lee Hyundai on Highway 37 in Noblesville. For a company to claim it's the industry leader in anything, it better be able to back it up. When it comes to basement waterproofing, Everdry Waterproofing has over 42 years and 90,000 satisfied customers to support its claim. Remember, it's not dry until it's ever dry. It's live on stage and coming your way, South Pacific. I'm enchanted indeed. Enchanted indeed. South Pacific. February 22nd. Tickets on sale now. Go to butlerartscenter.org. <laughs> that some things aren't worth putting off, like your car insurance. Good thing we're here to remind you. We're all a bit more aware of the air we're breathing and how healthy it is. Airborne viruses, mold, and mildew are more common than ever. With over 42 years of waterproofing experience, Everdry Waterproofing is the best choice for any water damage issues. It's not dry. Until it's ever dry. Live from CBS4, this is your news now. When it gets this cold, we worry about hypothermia or frostbite. Happening now, central Indiana is experiencing dangerously cold temperatures. We have a wind chill advisory in effect. Areas could see a low of negative 20 this morning. And for that reason, more than 70 schools will open late today. Each of those is going to be scrolling at the bottom of your screen. They're also posted online on our website, cbs4indy.com. Once students do head to school, make sure they bundle up. Frostbite can happen in, in, in as little as 10 minutes that quick. CBS 4 is your weather reporter. We have team coverage this morning. How you can keep yourself and your family safe in these bitterly cold conditions. The weather authority warned us the extreme cold was coming. Here's meteorologist Krista McEnany. Krista? Yeah, we're talking about very uncomfortable conditions, very dangerous conditions. If you're going to be outside, that's not just for you. Think about kids at the bus stop, pets this morning. So something to take in mind, we have temperatures that have now dropped down to two degrees out at the Indianapolis airport. That's the coldest of the season so far. We're at three here at our CBS 4 studio. But look, these actual air temperatures in our north counties were negative seven in Kokomo and negative nine in Marion. These areas here have a little bit of a snowpack on the ground and that's helping drive those temperatures down too. Looking at our southern counties, Columbus at six degrees, five in Bloomington, we are still cold. But these wind chill temperatures, an even bigger factor, really the prime story for today with those wind chill temperatures now that are at negative 23 out the door in Kokomo. We're at negative 11 in Indianapolis and negative 16 in Lafayette yet. So a wind chill advisory is in effect now. It continues on for a very large portion of central Indiana until 11 a.m. So we're not until then are we talking about wind chill temperatures really getting above zero, but we're going to be plenty sunny today. Bright skies. These wind chill temperatures rising to the mid teens this afternoon. I'm tracking some snow showers in the forecast as well as 50 degree warmth. I'll let you know when that arrives here in a few minutes. Nick. All right, Kate Magwell, the Office of Public Health and Safety and the Marion County Public Health Department are urging everyone to be careful if you have to go outside today. You can use Indy Parks and the Indianapolis Public Library locations during business hours as warming centers. Keep in mind here, frostbite can happen in as little as 10 minutes. Signs include numbness of skin that feels unusually firm or waxy and a white or grayish yellow skin area. Signs of hyperthermia include shivering, exhaustion, confusion, memory loss, slurred speech, and drowsiness. Needless to say, you'll need the heat on full blast as you head into work today. This morning, CBS 4's Justin Kolar switching gears and he's keeping an eye on our roads this morning with your traffic authority. Good morning. Hey, good morning and good morning, Central Indiana. Yes, definitely you're going to want to start your car. Give it a little extra time to heat up this morning. Use that heated seat, the heated steering wheel if you have it because it is bitterly cold out there. We have our first crash of the morning here and actually maybe it just cleared, but it didn't have much of an impact on the situation anyway. This was about 10 minutes ago, crash at Red Horizon Boulevard at Cranberry Street. But again, you can see that hasn't had much of an impact at all on the situation moving forward. Here we are here 
at I-465 uh, at Kentucky Avenue. You can see those traffic volumes are starting to pick up a little bit this morning here, but it hasn't really affected your drive time in. Everyone is having a smooth commute. Things are dry out there, even going above those posted speed limits near 70 miles an hour if you're commuting from the southwest side here. But that's really been the story around the Circle City here with drive times reflected on your screen right now. You should have no trouble getting where you need to go. We'll have another look at your traffic in about 15 minutes, guys. All right, Justin, thanks for that. At 604, we have some new information coming in about a deadly fire that happened on Indy's northwest side Monday. Investigators now confirm that two people died inside that RV. A fire happened in the vacant parking lot near Lafayette Road. There, firefighters got the flames under control, and they said they found two men dead inside. Officials have not yet released a cause of death, but as of right now, they do not suspect foul play. IMPD also just released dramatic body camera footage showing what happened the night two officers were stabbed. Yeah, that's happened on December. A police said the suspect Deontay Williams called 911 to lure the officers to his location. The officers spoke with Williams for about 30 seconds and then turned to walk away. And that's when they say Williams stabbed the officers from behind. The officers shot Williams. Court records show he was on GPS monitoring, awaiting trial for a previous burglary charge when that stabbing took place. There are still some questions that remain. Who made, who made those decisions that led to this person being out? It was preventable. So that's the key aspect here. IMPD did not want to comment on the video since the use of force board is set to review the incident. Williams is now in jail and charged with two counts of attempted murder. The officers who were stabbed are now recovering. Let's check in on our coronavirus numbers this morning. More than 20,000 Hoosiers have now died since the start of the pandemic. And now January has become the deadliest, one of the deadliest months for COVID-19 here in Indiana. This morning, medical experts say the record high daily case counts followed by not record high death counts were proves that Omicron is less severe than past variants. It also speaks to the tools that we now have that we didn't have earlier in the pandemic. The vast majority, 80, 90 percent that are dying are unvaccinated. And so it still is a pandemic of unvaccinated. Those at Regan Street Institute believe the number of daily deaths will increase within the next few weeks as we work our way through the peak in this COVID wave. 6.06 is your time this morning. More help is on the way to support our local schools. $750 million from the USDA will help districts nationwide provide healthy meals to students. And this comes at a time when schools are having to change their menus day by day, really, because of supply shortages and higher food costs. CBS Horse Mr. Crash is live in the newsroom to explain how our local schools are feeling about this announcement. Melissa, good morning. Yes, Nick, good morning. I spoke with child nutrition directors for both Wayne and Lawrence townships. Both agree they are relieved that more help is on the way. I'm told right now to find paper products. They sometimes have to resort to buying off of Amazon because there are no other options. The USDA is increasing school lunch reimbursement rates at the start of the school year. The reimbursement rate was already 15% higher than the standard. Now schools will receive an additional 25 cents per lunch. Rolanda Brown with Lawrence Township tells me this is a huge deal. Vendors are making more money by selling to grocery stores, so options for school districts right now are decreasing. Getting the price increases almost daily through our co-op, you know, being notified that costs are going up and are we going to accept these because they're allowed to do that even though we're locked into a contract. Uh, you think about food, um, we're not getting um, chicken patties or, you know, chicken products in general are hard to come by now. And uh, those are popular items for our students. Um, paper goods, that's the key thing. Like you would not think about sport kits. Well, according to the USDA, it's given the state of Indiana more than $267 million to support pandemic operations and supply chain challenges. I've placed the full breakdown of numbers for you right now over on our website. For now in the studio, I'm Melissa Crash, CBS 4 News. All right, Melissa, thank you. Happening now, there's a heated debate on gun laws in Indiana. I tried Hoosiers could soon be allowed to carry handguns without a permit. To split opinions from local law enforcement, that's coming up. Dozens of people are missing right now off the coast of Florida. Their boat capsized, but the only survivor so far is telling officials. And a big focus for this morning, those wind chill temperatures that are at dangerously cold levels down to negative 23 at this time. 
time in Kokomo. A windchill advisory continues on until 11 a.m. A cold day ahead, but I'm timing out when we dig our way out of these freezing conditions in my forecast. Closed captioning is sponsored by Terry Lee Hyundai on Highway 37 in Noblesville. I was learning to enjoy the perks of a dorm room to study and map in. And since this was college, I've been allowed to have girls in my room. Way to go. Nice and clean. Who are you? I'm in the room next door. Oh, you're that smart kid. Well, then tell him to come in. Any chance you play Dungeons and Dragons? Can I please be picked up later? That is not happening. Bummer. I've never said that before. Did it sound cool? No. Bummer. A new young Sheldon, Thursday at 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. It's time to assemble the bobs. <gasps> it's the call of the bobs. I got you, bobs. Bobs. Shop what's in stock in store or at mybobs.com. I took a bad fall and I knew I was hurt. To me, it was like fireworks that went off in my body. My equilibrium was off. I had excruciating headaches for months. I was blindsided first by the accident and then by the insurance company. Every client that comes to us has dealt with a traumatic experience in their life. It was a relief that I had somebody that believed me and was on my side. It happens. Hire Hensley. I want to sell you this car. Nope. I don't need to talk about it. Visit your Indianapolis Acura dealer for attractive offers on the RDX. Are your bricks cracked and your floors sloped? Do your doors and windows stick? Do you have foundation cracks? These small problems will only get worse over time. Don't let a foundation problem ruin the value of your biggest investment. Call Basement Systems of Indiana for all things basement -y. With my hectic life, you'd think retirement would be the last thing on my mind. Hey, Mom, can I go play video games? Sure. After homework. <laughs> Thankfully, Voya provides comprehensive solutions and shows me how to get the most out of my workplace benefits. What's the Wi-Fi password again? Here you go. Cool. Thanks. No problem. Voya helps me feel like I got it all under control. Because I do. Oh, she is good. Voya. Well planned, well invested, well protected. Isn't it great how swinging through Culver's drive through marks the unofficial start to family time? How biting into a hot off the grill butter burger makes worries melt away. And how a fresh frozen custard concrete mixer puts a smile on your face every time. Here, a meal you didn't have to make is a meal made fresh for you. And being greeted with a smile, even beneath a mask, makes all the difference. There's a reason we put so much care into our food. That reason is you. Welcome to Delicious. Homes deserve beautiful furniture. Just ask this, Bob. Rob Schneider. This cottage chic section will beautify any home. Say you were raised by wolves. The neutral palette works with any decor. Okay, my parents are paying. Shop what's in stock, in store, or at mybobs.com. Get CBS 4 weather updates on the go by listening to Indy's Rock Station, 93.9 X. Now at 612, the Coast Guard is searching for 39 people after a boat capsized off the Florida coast. Authorities believe this was a human smuggling venture. The Miami Coast Guard was alerted after a Good Samaritan rescued a man clinging to a capsized vessel. This happened Tuesday. He is now in the hospital recovering from dehydration and sun exposure. The man told officials severe weather caused that boat to capsize. Meantime, in New York, a second police officer has died after he was shot in the line of duty Friday night. 27-year-old officer Wilbert Mora was with the department for four years. His partner, 22-year-old Jason Rivera, was also shot and killed. The officers were ambushed while responding to a domestic violence call. Another officer on scene shot and killed the gunman. New York City Mayor Eric Adams called Officer Mora a hero, saying, quote, he served his city, protected his community, and gave his life for our safety. Right now, more than 100,000 Russian soldiers are in position along Ukraine's eastern border. Many of them are taking part in live fire military exercises. President Joe Biden and his national security team briefed congressional leaders about the crisis. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said the time to act is now before an invasion. 
Once the Russians have grabbed uh, a piece of Ukraine or tried to overthrow the entire government, it's really too late. The White House hopes the threat of severe economic sanctions will be enough to deter hostilities. Russia denies it's planning to invade Ukraine. Well, officials with the State Department of Natural Resources work through freezing temperatures for their ice water safety training. Crews practice ice rescues at Potato Creek State Park in North Liberty. It's the first training like this in several years. They did it in part because officials say they're seeing an increase in ice fishing. While they may not necessarily be a trained first responder like a police officer, a paramedic, or a fireman, uh, they will obviously make it to the scene earliest and be able to relay back essential information for rescuers as we're gearing up to get en route to rescue. Experts stress that no ice is safe ice, but if you're taking part in outdoor recreation, make sure the lake ice is clear and at least four inches thick. All right, at 614, let's go ahead and get a check outside right now. You've heard it over and over again. The temperatures, they are hitting dangerously cold levels. Right. Krista, how long is all this going to stick around? You know, overall, the entire day is going to be cold, but that wind chill advisory only goes until 11 a.m. So after that, we'll start seeing those feels like temperatures at least get above zero, if that's any good news for you you there. The actual air temperatures now at two degrees in Indianapolis makes it the coldest of the season so far, the coldest of the year so far. We have actual air temperatures in our northern counties that are below zero. Now these locations have some snowpack on the ground, so it's helping drive that temperature down. We're at negative seven and Kokomo, a little to the south, still cold, but we're at five in Bloomington. These wind chills though at dangerously low levels. We're at negative 23 in Kokomo, negative 11 is where we're sitting in Indianapolis and negative 13 in Muncie. So that's what it feels like as you're walking out the door. So keep that in mind if you're heading out or sending those kids to the bus stop. If you have a pet outside or you have to go take them for a walk, just uh, use extra precautions. Make sure you have all of those layers. Maybe off for, off for that shorter walk today too. Now, wind chill advisory continues on until 11 a.m. You can see it does cover a very large portion of central Indiana, and these wind chill temperatures through then for most of us will stay below zero. As we head towards the lunch hour, here we are right at noon. We start getting above zero, but I'd say our northern counties, some negative wind chill value still possible at that time. And then as we head into the afternoon, at best, our wind chill temperatures get into those mid and upper teens. Maybe a couple locations as those winds calm down will hit that 20 degree mark close to the actual air temperature. The live guardian radar is quiet, so some good news for you today. We're going to have a lot of sunshine. What well, will likely be the brightest day of the year so far, looking at what will most likely be full sunshine today. We have high pressure and control now situated off to our west northwest. It's driving in that bitter cold air with those northwest winds. But this is going to pass overhead and slide off to our east as we head through the evening hours into early tomorrow morning. And as it does, that's going to create a wind shift for us. So those winds are going to turn out of the south. That means we won't be as cold tonight. So actual air temperatures this afternoon will rise into those low 20s with plenty of sunshine, running about 15 degrees below average for this time of year. And then those feels like temperatures for this evening don't turn as harsh as quickly. So we aren't likely to see them go negative except for maybe our northern counties late this evening as we did yesterday. But certainly by tomorrow morning, we could have some wind chill temperatures near or below zero. Actual air temperatures will start off right around 11 degrees and then we'll see those temperatures rise into those low 30s with cloudier conditions tomorrow. We even have the chance for a few spotty snow showers tomorrow. They could cause some slick conditions but not looking at widespread issues. Here we are at 9 9 a.m. looking at them isolated at this time for any areas that are seeing some snow showers developing. They'll be very hit and miss throughout the day. We can see some flurries around into the afternoon. And then as we head into the evening hours once again, this is 9 o'clock, that chance for just some pockets of snow showers around. Temperatures over these next few days take some ups and downs. We'll climb up into those low 30s tomorrow afternoon, dropping temperatures from 25 on Friday down to 7 by early Saturday morning. But as we get into Sunday, we're talking about temperatures near the seasonal average, mid-30s, Monday low 40s, and we're into the 50s by Tuesday. Justin?
Well, as you just mentioned, it's really cold out there, but the good news is that it's dry. So conditions, you're not going to have to fight through anything like that right now, which is good for drivers out there. We've only seen one crash. It looks like actually, you know, speak of the devil. As I say that we have two on our screen right now, so we'll get to that in your next 15 minutes or so. But take a look here at I-65 near Greenwood here. Conditions nice and dry, nothing for drivers to worry about really right there right now. If we take a closer look at average speeds coming off of I-69 as you're heading south from Hamilton County, you're going above the speed limit here and you're going to want to not get gas in Hamilton County. As you can see, the price, the lowest price in Carmel's 322. You're going to want to fill up once you get into Marion County closer to Indianapolis. One last look at the traffic situation. You can see those volumes are increasing this morning, but again, not many crashes or incidents to be concerned with. Just give yourself a little extra time to warm up your car. We'll have another look at those crashes in 15 minutes, guys. All right, Justin, thank you. Turning over to 619 right now. We have a CBS4 consumer alert for you this morning. The Better Business Bureau is urging everyone to be on the lookout for fake at home COVID tests. Scammers are doing everything they can to get your money. And scammers are going to look to take advantage of confusing you. The red flags you need to watch out for. Plus, the cost of groceries is soaring. Now, the price of orange juice is squeezing your wallet as well. But it's not because of the pandemic. The reason farmers are expecting the worst orange harvest since World War II. Stick with us. Right now at Power Home Solar, qualified homeowners can get the benefits of solar energy starting at less than $200 a month. Call 1-800-POWER-90 today and get the first 12 months on us. Power Home Solar, it's time to own your power. Big trucks can cause big wrecks. Because of its size and massive weight, even a slow-moving truck like this can be dangerous. I'm attorney Daryl Isaacs. I am America's big truck attorney. At Isaacs and Isaacs, we've recovered over a billion dollars for our clients, and we'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So now I'm not just the attorney on the big truck, I'm the attorney on the big moving truck. Big truck wreck, we win.com. One call, that's all. Tom Wood works. We are always in demand for hiring as we keep growing. You can go anywhere with the Tom Wood Company. It is like family coming to work. They believe in you. That's the biggest thing. Join the Tom Wood Group today. Go to TomWood.com slash careers. It's tough missing teeth or dealing with loose fitting dentures and every trip to the dentist adds up quick. Restore your smile with Minis, mini dental implants. At half the cost and half the size of conventional implants, they get you in and out quicker with less office visits and less money out of your pocket. With mini dental implants, you'll be smiling twice as much. Eat all your favorite foods again without worry and say cheese. Less is more with mini dental implants. Less invasive, less discomfort, less healing time, less visits to the dentist, and less expensive. Now that makes a lot more sense. With these tiny state-of-the-art implants, there's no intense surgery, no cutting, and no stitching. This simple one-step mini dental implant procedure is fast, affordable, and just as permanent as conventional implants. From the dentist's chair to the dinner table in no time, with mini dental implants, there's plenty to smile about. Call Dr. Miller at 317-669-9351 for your free consultation to see if mini dental implants are right for you. Update your home with help from Menards. Choose from our in-stock Mastercraft doors or design your door your way with our door designer. Mastercraft has the fastest delivery, so you get your door in approximately seven days. Keep your home comfortable with Knopf fiberglass insulation. It offers year-round comfort, saves energy, and reduces sound transmission. Rolls of craft-faced or unfaced R11 insulation are $9.99 each after rebate during Menards. More bang for your buck sale. Save big money at Menards. Bus Stop Forecast is brought to you by Everdry Waterproofing. On FanDuel Sportsbook, new customers can bet 30 to 1 odds on any team in the playoffs. So you can make every catch feel like the catch of a lifetime. Bet 30 to 1 odds on any team to win their playoffs game. Bet 5 to win 150. Only on FanDuel, America's number one sportsbook. The Weather Camera Network is brought to you by Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Jason Waller here with Power Home Solar. Isn't it time to help energize your house with the power of the sun? All across America, people are joining that solar energy movement. So I'm helping make it affordable for homeowners. Power Home Solar, it's time to own your power. 
it's 622. We have a CBS4 consumer alert for you this morning. Farmers are reporting a bad orange harvest season. They are reporting a cluster of citrus greening. That's a disease caused by an invasive insect, and they say it's destroying a lot of the orange groves. Now, Florida is expected to have its smallest orange crop since World War II. Of course, you mix that with the surging demand, and the price for orange juice is skyrocketing. What do you foresee in your future? That's a million dollar question. <laughs> you can tell when a tree is suffering from citrus greening because the oranges are unusually small. Florida normally produces more than 240 million boxes of oranges every year. This year, though, the Sunshine State will produce only 44 million boxes. Oh, all right, look out for that. Hey, trending now, Starbucks is offering more than just coffee to boost your energy. The chain just launched its first ever energy drink, Starbucks Baya Energy. It's available in three flavors, including mango guava, raspberry lime, and pineapple passion fruit. All three are available at grocery stores now, but the drink won't be available at Starbucks locations until March first. Interesting. Right. I like I like the cans. They yeah, look great. Yeah, the cans look lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I tend to stick to the coffee, but hey, you never know. Maybe one of those energy drinks might make their way. Yeah. We use everything we can to everything. stay up uh, yeah. uh, here on the morning show. I mean, maybe we mix that with the coffee. Maybe do a little something, yeah. Whatever will put know. me over that edge, yeah, right? Whatever it is. All right, is. maybe the shelter dog got a hold of some of those energy drinks. Gilligan is going viral online because of some after-hours escapades. He's a longtime resident at the Bedford County Humane Society in Pennsylvania. Security cameras, oh no, captured a wild night last week when he escaped his kennel. Looked like he had the time of his life. Staff members said he grabbed all the squeaky toys he could find and scattered them throughout the hallways. The staff said their TikTok videos have been a great way to show off other pups as well, all looking for their forever homes. Wow. I love him. Yeah. That it, I, I, I'm glad that was just toys. I remember one time when I had my dog Chuck. This was years ago when I first got him. I came home and couch cushions were Ooh. pieces of couch cushions. Yeah. I should say were everywhere. So that was a yeah, that was a day. Yep, yeah. shoes. Mm -hmm. Pacifiers are a big thing yeah, in our house. Listen, yeah, I've been there. I remember once he ate a bite out of every single roll of uh, toilet paper. He just. <laughs> It was a big Costco size oh, one too, no. and he just took a chunk out of every single one. Hopefully that wasn't during like the COVID, no. everyone's hoarding. It was, it was ridiculous. So this is like 2013, but it was ridiculous. Oh. I was like, where the, what yeah, are you doing? My yeah. sand has to come out. Oh, yeah. 625 right now, a lot of people are itching to get out and travel. Yeah, but a lot of you are wondering if it's safe. I think it's kind of a gamble. This morning we have a CBS4 consumer investigation of what local travel experts say you need to know when booking your next vacation. And as you're heading out the door, make sure you have all of those heavier extra layers. It is cold, the heavy coat, the hat, the gloves, the scarf, sunglasses too. It's going to be a bright day, but we have a wind chill advisory that still encompasses a large portion of central Indiana until 11 a.m. We're talking about those areas that are seeing wind chills from negative 20 this morning. But when could we see 50s? That's in your forecast. Struggling to stay cozy and warm without breaking the bank? You don't have to exchange comfort for cost with new energy efficient windows from Universal Windows Direct. You can lower your utility bills and settle in comfortably. Buy one window, get one window free with no interest and no payments for 24 months. Please call us or visit our website for details. Universal Windows Direct. It's live on stage and coming your way, South Pacific. There is nothing like a day, nothing in the world. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. USA Today raves. South Pacific doesn't just float, it soars. Some enchanted evening. Enchanted indeed. South Pacific. February 22nd. Tickets on sale now. Go to butlerartscenter.org. Coca-Cola Consolidated makes, sells, and distributes over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors locally. Over 1,000 of our teammates pour their hearts into their work at 12 facilities every single day. We're honored to partner with amazing schools and exciting teams. Our Hoosier heritage runs deep through the birthplace of our contour bottle to downtowns throughout the heartland. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated. 
your local bottler. Start the year off right at Hubler Mazda. Right now, get 0.9% APR financing for 36 months on a new 2021 Mazda CX-30, CX-5, or MX-5. Or you can shop our huge selection of pre-owned vehicles in-store or online with ease. Plus, we have new inventory arriving daily. And every new car includes our 10-year, 200,000-mile warranty. Hurry in or visit HublerMazda.com now. Ready to save big on some new furniture? Then you need to come see us at Godby Home Furnishings during our home sale. Every day our prices are up to 30% off retail. Now save 40, 50, even 60% off retail. Plus with thousands of items in stock, we're sure to have what you're looking for. Sofas and sectionals, bedrooms, dining rooms, and mattresses. And introducing Smith Brothers Sofas and Sectionals. Swiss Amish craftsmanship made right here in Bern, Indiana. The Godby Home Furnishings home sale. Get it at Godby today. Men, are you struggling with erectile dysfunction? Well, you may not have to take pills any longer. There is now a breakthrough technology that can eliminate ED. I'm joined now by Andrew to tell us all about it. Nisha, we use the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy, which is shown to open up blood vessels and improve circulation. We've helped so many couples restore normal intimacy without the pills. Andrew, what kinds of clinical studies have been performed on your technology? There are over 45 clinical studies. Even Cambridge University showed our treatments to be effective. One study called it the new standard of care for erectile dysfunction. If you are struggling with erectile dysfunction and want to turn back the clock in the bedroom, take advantage of this special offer and get your love life back. Put a stop to your erectile dysfunction. Call Pine Grove Medical Clinic. You'll get the initial assessment and blood flow ultrasound free and a special gift proven to produce powerful results in the bedroom. A $650 value free to those that call right now. 317-552-1111. Live from CBS4, this is your News Now. And we're talking dangerously cold wind chill temperatures this morning. A wind chill advisory continues on until 11 a.m. And I'm timing out when we dig our way out of these freezing temperatures in your forecast. That being said, officials in central Indiana want you to be aware of just how dangerous some of these temperatures can be. That's right. Frostbite and hyperthermia can happen in minutes. We bring you team coverage on the ways to stay safe outside and the resources city officials now offering you if you need them. All right, let's get right to it because we have a lot to cover this morning. Thanks for being with us. I'm Angela Brower. Hey, and I'm Nick McGill. Like we said, it's a big day for much of central Indiana. Cold out there. Right now we have dozens of schools starting late this morning, most of them on two-hour delays. Krista McEnany standing by with a look at our forecast right now. Very cold outside. Yeah. Bundle up all the layers. Right, okay. all the layers. Make sure all that skin is covered because it is cold outside. Dangerously cold. Wind chill temperatures too. Good to see that we have those two hours delayed. At least help get those temperatures up a little bit this morning. At this time, we're at two degrees in Indianapolis. That's the coldest of the season so far. We have dropped to one here at our CBS4 studio on the northwest side, and we're at negative one right now in Zionsville. Now we are talking about temperatures that are going to continue to still possibly drop another degree or two as we head through these next few hours. But as the sun comes up, then we'll start to see those temperatures at least improve. Windchill temperatures at negative 11 now in Indianapolis, negative 23 is where we are at the door in Kokomo. So again, dangerously cold levels with that wind chill advisory that continues on until 11 a.m. this morning. The live guardian radar is quiet. All we're dealing with is the cold. That's still important, but we don't have anything like snow that's coming our way. So we are talking about sunshine into the afternoon. Kids at the bus stop will be coming home to temperatures lower 20s, still feeling like it's only in the mid teens. I'm timing snow and 50 degree warmth coming up in your full forecast. Nick. All right, we are continuing now with team coverage. Our Eric Pointer joins us now live from the newsroom. He was able to speak with the director of emergency management in Marion County. Eric, what did he recommend? So he says the key is planning and being prepared. So monitor the temperatures, AKA listen to Krista. She's been warning us and you want to dress accordingly. Director of emergency management says that being out in the cold and not dressed properly for more than about 30 minutes can have some pretty serious consequences like frostbite or even hypothermia. If you're out there for too long, he says to pay attention to things like numb skin or a stinging sensation. He also says it's important to make sure your car is prepared. So bring extra blankets and coats inside and have a full tank of gas in case you get stuck. Prepared, understanding that, you know, 
again, while we're not expecting any snow or ice with this, uh, things do happen on your commute um, and be prepared in case you have to sit in your vehicle for a long period of time, because especially if your vehicle dies, um, you know, and you can't run, it will get cold very quickly at these temperatures. You start your car to warm it up. He says to make sure you lock your door so that someone can't take your car. And even if you don't have to go out in the weather, he says it's also important to keep your home warm, but to be responsible and not create a fire hazard. And, and speaking of not being outside, I just wanted to point out that I am inside covering this because it is dangerously cold outside. So be safe if you have to go out. Nick. All right, Eric, thank you. Uh, let's get to a check of our road conditions right now. CBS 4's Justin Kolar has the latest on that. Hey, Justin. Hey, good morning, Nick, and good morning, Central Indiana. We told you about 15 minutes ago that we had some crashes popping up here, and we have the information now to tell you about that. What's going on here? Crash at 10th Street at Center Drive. This is not on 465, so don't expect much of a backup or any delays here. But if you're driving in that area this morning, give yourself a little extra time. Maybe avoid that while that crash is being cleared. And we do have an incident here at northbound I-465 at exit 48. That's to get on to I-74. That may have just cleared, but we have a picture here. Now you can still see this uh, semi right here was pulled over by a police car. They're just waiting to get back on the road here. So again, that hasn't created any delays for folks. You can see traffic still moving smoothly around that semi there. Like we said, it is really cold out there, but luckily it's dry. So folks are still having an easy time getting in where they need to go. All green on your screen right now as far as speed sensors are concerned. So you can see it hasn't had much of a delay on getting folks where they need to go. One last look at conditions out here. And again, you can see more cars on the road than earlier this morning. This is I-465 at I-74 West. We'll have another look in about 15 minutes, guys. All right, Justin, thank you. You can stay weather aware by downloading our free Indy Weather Authority app. There you can take a live look at our Guardian radar and get hourly forecasts for the area. The app also has a list of each school districts that are operating on a two hour delay. All right, let's get to some other headlines now. The Biden administration has officially withdrawn its vaccine mandate for businesses with more than 100 employees. That rule would have required workers to be vaccinated or undergo weekly testing and wear face masks. Multiple states, including Indy, Indiana challenged it in court. Earlier this month, the Supreme Court ruled OSHA could not enforce it. The Indiana Senate, though, is considering a bill that would limit COVID vaccine mandates statewide. The bill requires private employers with mandates to allow employees to opt out if they agree to weekly testing. It also allows employees whose exemptions were denied to receive unemployment benefits. Legal experts say the bill would reach most private employers in Indiana. The Supreme Court again ruled the vaccine requirement for health care facilities that accept Medicare and Medicaid, that one can move forward. We also have a CBS 4 consumer alert for you this morning. The Better Business Bureau once again warning about scammers. The organization said people are selling unauthorized COVID test kits. Others will take your money, but not send you anything at all. Biggest piece of advice is just be patient and not to be quick to uh, jump to a decision because there's a lot of new information out there. And scammers like to take advantage of confusing situations and current events to prey on unsuspecting individuals. The Triple B said you should research before you buy. Never share your personal information with strangers and check to make sure the kit has FDA approval. You can do that online. We'll post a link on how to do so on CBS4Indy.com. Thousands of Americans are trying to decide right now whether it's safe or financially wise to travel, especially considering the recent surge of Omicron nationwide. Local travel agents say there are several things you need to know if you plan to book a vacation. Buckle up because local travel agents tell me the amount of vacation inquiries are once again sky high. People are planning trips more than ever before. The largest October uh, of people traveling this last October in years and even pre-pandemic. book your flight, there are a few things you'll want to consider. The most important I've learned is that you find a trustworthy travel agent. So here's your total. 
So a travel agent's gonna make sure that you don't have the pitfalls of unfortunately showing up to the ticket counter at the Indy Airport and not having the right documentation or the right test, et cetera. Travel agents have done the dirty work. They know all the current restrictions and policies in different destinations. Depending on your vaccination status, there are places you can and can't go, depending on the type of test you have to take to get into a country. If you were to test positive or have to quarantine last minute prior to your trip, an advisor could rearrange your flights for you. We just, you know, the same thing, you know, we just put it off, you know, help uh, with the changing of the, uh, the flights and notify the resort that, uh, you know, that the client is going to be a couple of days late. And do they face financial penalties for that? No. If you get to your destination and test positive there, there are strict protocols in place. Clients are going to retest the day that they've tested positive and then they're going to go for three to five days before they get the opportunity usually to test again. In some cases, but not all, you will have to pay extra per person per night to stay longer in quarantine. The cost is typically around $100 and it covers room service as well. I definitely advise bring medications if you are going to be there longer so you're prepared and bring your computer and charger so you can work if you need to. Yeah. The other big piece of advice? Consider travel insurance. Data shows travel insurance will cost about $200 per person. It could reimburse you for expenses associated with extending your stay, like food and a rental car. It'll also help if your flight is one of the thousands canceled nationwide. If you are planning a trip, you may need to do it at least 10 months in advance. That's partially because kids are, or people are starting to rebook canceled trips from 2020. Also, a lot of places are operating at lower capacity, like cruises and hotels and resorts. So that means places are filling up quickly, especially during those peak travel times like spring break. All right. Hey, happening now, legislators are making another push to offer film tax credits here in Indiana. Indiana was once the iconic landscape for movies like Rudy and Hoosiers, but now filmmakers say it's difficult to produce movies here without those tax incentives. And it's why Republican House Re Representative Robert Morris just introduced this latest bill. He said it would create tax incentives for film creators. Prior attempts have fallen through. This bill, though, it aims to create jobs by giving production companies tax benefits, specifically if they hire Hoosiers. Indiana and we're going to get them employed here in, in Indiana in the future. The bill is now in the hands of the House Ways and Means Committee. Senators are discussing a similar measure. Okay, interesting. Hey, 640 is your time right now. We have 15 minutes of nonstop news coming up just on the other side of this break, including it's all hands on deck right now at the Morgan County Humane Society. It just took in 100 animals. Each were seized from someone's backyard. There's just too many animals that need rescue, that need help. What we know about the investigation that kicked all of this off. Plus, there's new COVID variant you need to know about. It's being called the Stealth Omicron. What we need to know about this subvariant and how officials are now tracking it. K-Mac? And in your dog walking forecast for today, use a lot of extra caution with your pets. Dangerously cold wind chill temperatures through this morning. As we head into the afternoon, they do improve, but it's still going to be a cold day overall. But we will get plenty of sunshine around. And in your featured adoptable pet for today, meet Ziggy. He's a sweet, gentle guy. He's about seven years old. He loves to play with toys. He's housebroken and he does do well with other dogs. So if you'd like to learn more about him, you can contact Indianapolis Animal Care Services. Stay with us. We have more news, weather and traffic after the break. The Traffic Authority, powered by Tom Wood Automotive. Don't let someone rip you off. Turn to CBS4 Consumer Investigations so you can fight back. Our team will listen to you. Dig into our resources and uncover the truth about who's cutting corners, who's hiding their past, and who could be walking away with your money. Fight back. Contact CBS4 Consumer Investigations at cbs4indy.com or by calling the number on your screen. I was hit driving to work. I was injured driving to school. I was rear-ended driving home. Seriously injured? It happens. Hire Hensley. 888-HENSLEY.
And I bought my van in 2005. The guys at Tom would take care of me and fix whatever's going on. 120,000 miles later, I still love that car. Trust the Tom Wood Auto Group to service your vehicles. Hi, I'm Larry Janeski from Basement Systems of Indiana. We're the all things basement tea company. Did you know that up to 50% of the air you breathe in your home comes through the basement? A wet, damp basement is a real problem that can worsen asthma and allergies, affect indoor air quality, and even damage your valuables. We'll transform your basement into a dry, usable space and improve the air quality of your entire home. Call Basement Systems of Indiana today for all things basement tea. Bob's won't rest until everyone gets the furniture they love, in stock and fast. But, but we're only two Bob's. Are we, though? It's time to assemble the Bob's. <gasps> it's the call of the Bob's. Well, that's a happy little sound. Bob, vanilla ice love. Bob's. Wow, this is some seashell. Shop what's in stock, in store, or at mybobs.com. Hi, we're OfferPad, and we want to buy your home. Getting your offer is easy. Just go to OfferPad.com, tell us about your home, and we'll send you a competitive offer. Why sell to OfferPad? Because it's a better experience. No showings, you pick the closing date, and we'll even move you locally for free. We know what your home means to you, so we're committed to being with you every step of the way. Your online home buyer with a human touch. We've helped thousands of happy home sellers, and we'd love to help you. OfferPad, request your free purchase offer today. The Enhanced Acura Certified Pre-Owned Program, a better way to buy a pre-owned. With a comprehensive 182-point inspection, a complimentary first scheduled maintenance, and our seven-year or 100,000-mile powertrain coverage. It's like we're with you, wherever you go. Visit your Indianapolis Acura dealer for attractive offers on a certified pre-owned vehicle. It happened at work. It happened at the mall. It happened at the park. Seriously injured? It happens. Hire Hensley. 888-HENSLEY. We are in Ada, Oklahoma, and I grew up here most of my childhood. News Nation came to American viewers with the promise of unbiased news. It's something that you're not getting on other channels. News Nation is a news network for all Americans to try to offer something new, refreshing. With every story that we are delivering, we are representing both sides. And for us to be delivering that in the way that we are, I'm extremely proud of. 645 is your time right now. Take the live look there over Indianapolis. Right now we're waking up to the coldest air of the season so far. It could get colder still. We have a wind and chill advisory in effect until 11 a.m. this morning. Oh, that's painful. We do have team coverage this morning out the door. We'll get you started with your weather, your traffic as well. Let's kick things off with meteorologist Krista McEnany. Good morning. Hey, good morning to you. A lot to talk about. We're talking the coldest air of the season so far. Dangerously cold wind chills out there. The temperature now in Indianapolis, we've dropped to two degrees, but even our northern county is even colder than that. These areas that air has had to pass over some snowpack, still some of that on the ground in our very far northern counties. So that air temperature in Kokomo, we're down to negative seven, negative one in Muncie, a little warmer five, but still very cold in Bloomington. Take a look at these wind chill temperatures in Kokomo. They are down to negative 23. That is what it feels like out the door. It feels like negative 11 in Indianapolis and negative 13 in Muncie. So frostbite is a concern that can set in in as little as 10 minutes. We have the concern for pets that are outside. Just make sure that you take a lot of extra precautions, especially as you're sending those kids to the bus stop too. That wind chill advisory does continue on until 11 a.m. through a large portion of central Indiana. And here we take you through CBS 4 future view as we get towards the lunch hour. It's not till then, not till just after that advisory expires that we're really going to start seeing those wind chill temperatures rising above zero. Although I do still think some of our northern counties, I wouldn't be surprised to still see some negative wind chill temperatures out there into the very early afternoon. And then as we head towards the late afternoon, at best, these wind chill temperatures rise into those mid and upper teens. So a very cold day ahead overall. 
Live Guardian radar, though, that is quiet. No snow showers coming our way with the cold. That's all we're dealing with are these temperatures that are dangerously low with those wind chills. Very quiet across the region, though, thanks to high pressure that's settling in. And right now, it's off to our west northwest. It's driving those northwesterly winds into the state, but it's going to pass overhead through today, push off to the east. And as it does, it's going to bring us a wind shift. And with that, that means that temperatures aren't going to be as harsh through the overnight hours tonight. But this afternoon, we rise into those lower 20s, plenty of sunshine around, really bright day ahead, but still very, very cold. This evening, those feels like temperatures, that wind chill won't be dropping as quickly or as far. So by 10 o'clock, certainly still very cold down into the single digits. But by that time last night, we were talking about wind chill temperatures already starting to fall below zero. Waking up tomorrow morning right around 10 degrees, so a cold start, but not as bitter cold as this morning. High temperatures into those low and mid 30s tomorrow afternoon and that chance for a few snow showers. We do have that chance for a few isolated snow showers as early as 8 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Here we are on CBS for a future view. This is at 9 a.m. I'm not expecting widespread issues, but certainly enough that it could cause some slick spots on the roads during the later portion of that morning commute and through the mid morning into the afternoon. Hit and miss flurries around and then another chance for a few snow showers with another front that's going to be pushing its way on through as we head into Thursday evening. This is 9 p.m., but even then we're talking about very widely scattered pockets of snow, not impacting everybody. Temperatures will be falling on Friday at a high of 25. That comes early in the morning down to 7 degrees by early Saturday. Saturday is going to be cold starts the weekend high of 22, but we're up to the mid 30s. Your seasonal averages by Sunday into the 40s by Monday and into the 50s by Tuesday. Justin. Hey, good morning, KMAC. Luckily, it is sl it's not slick. It's dry, just cold out there. Well, we just had a crash and it cleared, so I was going to take you to that scene. You could see that was at 10th Street at Center Drive, but luckily that just cleared and it wasn't creating any backups for folks out there, so that is great news. Let's take a look here. You know, we're talking about how cold it is out in the air, but the roads are even colder. It's zero degrees at last check here at I-465 near Kentucky Avenue. And again, those cold temperatures out there are going to have a little bit of havoc on your cars. If you're like me this morning, you saw the little icon pop up with the low tire pressure. Don't worry, it's just really cold out there. Electric cars, here's some things for you to know. Less energy for acceleration and less range due to the battery life. And diesel engines, of course, they're harder to start and your engine's not going to run as efficiently dealing with the cold. Let's take a look at some gas prices out here because you're going to want to fill up with it being this cold. So take a look at that and a look at conditions out on the roads. Again, it's dry. Cars are moving at those posted speed limits. I'm Justin Kolar with a look at your traffic this morning. All right, Justin, thank you. 6.50 is your time. Let's get to our top stories here. Multiple agencies are investigating after two people died in an RV fire Monday. The fire happened in the vacant parking lot near Lafayette Road on the northwest side. Firefighters said the camper was engulfed in flames when they got to that scene. Officials are investigating the cause of death, but they do not expect, ex expect foul play at this time. The Morgan County Humane Society needs your help this morning. It just took in almost 100 animals. Each were seized from a backyard breed breeding operation. On Friday, the Sheriff's Office and Animal Control received more than 60 dogs, 17 chickens, 11 ducks and three cats from the property. The Morgan County Humane Society is now shut down trying to take care of each of them. If you're interested in adopting or if you can donate some items, we have information on how to do so online. Just head to CBS4Indy.com. Happening now in Bartholomew County, officials want to add stop arm cameras on every single school bus. So far, 12 that are 120 buses have the cameras. Since August, the cameras have helped police catch six violations. The school board will help give a final approval on this. If the proposal moves forward, the district hopes to have the cameras installed by August 1st. Indiana legislators advanced a bill that would require public comment during school board meetings. This bill would allow at least three minutes per person at every meeting. The legislation comes after a year of contentious school board meetings statewide. As a result of that, some districts temporarily suspended public comment. The bill is now headed to the Senate. 651 right now. The White House is considering its options to prepare for if Russia invades Ukraine. Basil John reports as President Biden says depending on Putin's next move, the U.S. could be moving troops into Europe. Basil, good morning. 
Well, Nick, Angela, good morning. And yes, President Biden emphasized the importance of monitoring Putin's actions, but is confident that the Russian people have no idea what their leader is planning next. And if he were to move in with all those forces, it would be the largest invasion since World War II. President Joe Biden says right now it is difficult to figure out what Russian President Vladimir Putin will do as military presence is still high on the border of Ukraine. If he were to move into Ukraine, that there would be severe consequences. Those consequences would include economic sanctions and reinforced security in Eastern Europe. But for now, the president isn't moving troops. We have no intention of putting American forces or NATO forces in Ukraine. President Biden also promised personal sanctions against Putin. The Kremlin says the U.S. is adding fuel to the fire, but the White House pins this on Russia. The aggressive behavior here is on the part of the Russians. This is a defensive alliance, not an offensive alliance. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell said the White House followed his advice. Act now and not after an invasion. Once the Russians have grabbed uh, a piece of Ukraine or tried to overthrow the entire government, it's really too late. Now, U.S. allies are actively working to resolve the situation. The French government announced a meeting with Germany, Russia, and Ukraine to deter a new war starting in Europe. Reporting live in Washington, I'm Basil John. Meanwhile, some local law enforcement agencies here at home are concerned about a state house proposal that bill that would allow Hoosiers ages 18 and older to carry handguns without a permit. It was still prohibiting when convicted of a felony or deemed mentally unfit from carrying a gun. But some law enforcement officials are worried about the potential impact that will have on public safety. There are some supporters, though, in law enforcement who argue the bill would help Hoosiers defend themselves. Without that permitting in place, there's really no easy way for us to be able to determine whether somebody is allowed to carry a weapon or not. We much rather would have responsible gun owners carrying on themselves and being able to protect themselves than not having them on them. The House approved this bill. It's now headed to the Senate. Developing now, scientists are monitoring a new type of COVID-19 Omicron variant. Some are referring to this as Stealth Omicron. It's kind of a sub-variant that has been confirmed right here in the United States. There's evidence, excuse me, showing that this sub-variant may spread even more easily than what we're seeing right now. It very quickly overtook being, you know, on its way to being the dominant variant the World Health Organization is aware of the variant and noted it is spreading rapidly. It does not appear to cause more severe illness. More than 20,000 Hoosiers have now died since the start of the pandemic. This January is now the fifth deadliest month in Indiana. Medical experts are staying optimistic, though they said the record high daily case counts followed by not record high death counts proves Omicron is less severe than past variants. You can't just attribute this to the Omicron virus itself. We have, we have many more tools in our toolkit now. There's a lot of little things that add up, things that we've learned, innovations that have been created to help with this as well. Doctors expect the number of daily deaths will increase in the next few weeks as we work towards a peak in cases. Indiana schools have reported more than 100,000 COVID cases so far this school year. Officials confirm more than 16,000 of those cases this week. Since students returned to class from winter break about three weeks ago, almost 40,000 have reported a positive case. The Department of Health reported 10,000 new cases Tuesday. Our positive uh, rate for the seven days remains now at 30%. 3,200 people are in the hospital. CBS 4 is your weather authority and right now there is a wind chill advisory in effect. We have team coverage on this this morning. CBS 4's Lindsay Stone is live in our newsroom right now showing you what Marion County is doing to help keep people safe. Lindsay, good morning. Good morning to you. Marion County officials are setting up warming centers inside Indy Parks and Indianapolis Public Library locations during business hours today as warming centers. This is part of the city's 2022 winter contingency plan, which was created to help individuals experiencing homelessness during these winter months. Overnight shelter are also available through city funded shelters at Wheeler Mission and additional resources such as food assistance and crisis hotlines are available by dialing 211. Emergency management crews say when the temperatures are this low, it is so important to limit your exposure to the cold. That's why I'm inside this morning because it really can get dangerous out there if you're not prepared for the elements. Nick Lindsay, it's not just humans who need to be careful during these cold temperatures either, right? 
That's exactly right, Nick. Pets also need to limit their exposure to the cold. Exposure to this wintry, dry, cold air, some of the chilly rain, the sleet, the snow, we haven't seen much of, but if we do, this can really affect their paws, make it itchy, cause flaking skin. And again, these are one of many discomforts that pets can suffer in this cold weather. So pet owners, bring your furry friends inside on days like today. Reporting in the newsroom, Lindsay Stone, CBS 4 News. And we're tracking those dangerously cold wind chill temperatures this morning. That wind chill advisory does go until 11 a.m. We're talking wind chills in our far northern counties that have dropped down to as low as negative 20, negative 23 was our last check in Kokomo. In our seven day forecast, we do have some improvements on the way, but it takes a while to get there. This afternoon, we'll see temperatures lower 20s, plenty of sunshine and wind chills at its best mid 20s down to 10 degrees tonight. So not as cold to start tomorrow morning, but we have the chance for a few spotty snow showers around. I have 33 dropping temperatures on Friday down to seven Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon only into the low 20s. And here's our improvement. We're into the mid 30s on Sunday, lower 40s on Monday. And by Tuesday, we are tracking 50 degree warmth. Justin. Bitterly cold, but dry conditions out on the road. We're not tracking any crashes right now. We've had one or two, but they cleared pretty quickly. Take a look here at I-465 near Man Road. Conditions are good, like we say, nice and dry. Traffic volumes are increasing this morning, but it hasn't, in, it hasn't affected drive times at all in a negative way. So you should have plenty of time to get where you need to go. Just give yourself a moment to warm up your car, guys. All right, Justin, a lot of green there. Speaking of green, uh, people love pickles, right? Many say pickles are the perfect food. So what about this? Sour dill pickle gummy candies. They're from Haribo, the same company that makes gummy bears. They're popular in Germany, and you can order them online right now. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I actually did have a sour pickle candy. Other than being a Chicago Bears fan, it's the worst decision I've ever oh, made. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm it's, excited. It's, I want to try it. Oh, no, you don't it at all. So you don't want to try it. It's not that good. But hey, to each their own. You maybe try it. You like it. That does it for our Wednesday edition of CBS 4 this morning. A local update coming in 25 minutes. We'll see you then.